This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Preacher Motor Man. My name is Jeff. I'm a husband, a father, a papa, a pastor, and I am the Preacher Motor Man. Welcome to the channel. I hope you'll hang out here with me for just a few minutes. And if you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I don't ask for that very often. But about 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. And I'm trying to get to that 1,000 mark. And uh, I'm at 940. I've just been kind of fluctuating around, around there for two or three weeks. So 60 people, and I'll be at that 1,000 mark. Hey, let me ask you, did you hear about little Sally in the third grade? Well, one day at school, the teacher gave all the students a piece of paper and said, I want you just to draw a picture. Whatever you want to draw, just draw, just draw me a really nice picture. And as the children were drawing, uh, the teacher was walking through the classroom and she came around to Sally and she said, Sally, what are you drawing? And Sally said, I'm drawing a picture of God. And the teacher said, kind of, you know, with a chuckle, she's, but Sally, nobody knows what God looks like. And Sally says, well, when I get finished, they will. That wasn't funny. Well, maybe just a, just a little bit. So here's the deal. Uh, I've had Black Beauty, Black Beauty's right behind me. I don't think you can see it when I'm in the shot, uh, but I've had Black Beauty for 27 months. One of the, one of the first videos that I did uh, after acquiring Black Beauty was a video about talking about my rant about how sorry the headlight is on this bike. Now, let me say this. And I invite your comments and I, and, I, and I invite your advice. And when it comes to the headlight on the other video that I did, I got a lot of comments. But here's the thing. I've done the two major things that needed to be done to make sure I was getting the best view. Number one is I took the bike directly back to the Harley-Davidson dealership and I had them to adjust the headlight. It was pointing too low. They adjusted it. I took it back out. Really, it was better. I, I will say it was better, but it was still severely inadequate. So then I took the bike back to the Harley dealership and I had them to flash the, the, the spots so that they would stay on. They're typically only on, on low beam. Uh, but I had it to flash those so that they would stay on all the time. So that's the two major things that I did to try to improve uh, the light, all to no avail. Let me just say this, the most important thing in motorcycle riding is safety, nothing else. The most important thing, rule number one, as Million Dollar Bogan says, don't die. And safety is the number one issue. So my gripe with the Harley Davidson headlight is a safety gripe. My safety grout. And listen, it's Friday morning. This is my third cup of coffee. I want to drink it before it gets cold. I don't like lukewarm coffee. Ah, black. So, the headlight on this motorcycle. And, and, and the reason... It's a subject today, and you know, I did a video a few weeks back, a few videos ago, saying that it looked like I was gonna be selling Black Beauty for economic reasons, just the economy and everything that's going on. Then I came, I came back a couple of videos later and said, well, you know, I'm not sure I'm not gonna sell Black Beauty, but we're working on some things, you know, we're trimming the budget, we're, we're just doing some things. And uh, and so I still have Black Beauty. I don't know if I'm gonna sell the bike or not. I, 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 may, I may sell it next week. I may keep it another six months. I may keep it a year. I just don't know. And I'll tell you this, that probably, and I don't know what the number is, but probably 90, 98% of my riding is during daylight hours when a headlight is not an issue. Uh, the other night I came in, you know, the, the, the heat here has just been stifling. The, the, the heat and the humidity has just been, and, it, and it's hot in this shop. There's no air conditioning in this shop. And uh, I, I had to come in and close the door because I got gus. 
laying over there. And if I don't keep my eye on him, he'll be in the neighbor's garbage. We're working on that. Anyway, the heat has been stifling. And a, a, a few days ago, uh, I came in from a meeting about nine o'clock at night and the, I was on the motorcycle and the weather was absolutely spectacular. The humidity had dropped, the temperature had dropped. It was just such a beautiful night. And I, I came into the house and as I do many times, I said to Felicia, I said, hey, would you like to go for, it's really nice outside, would you like to go for a ride? And she likes to ride, but not, but most of the time she would go, uh, no, not tonight. Because she just don't want to go through the hassle of changing clothes and getting geared up and all of that stuff for what we would probably do is a 10 to 20 minute ride. But that particular night she said, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. And so we geared up and we got on the bike and we live in the country, but just about a, about a mile up our road, our road runs into a um, US Highway 29. It's a four lane highway, a divided highway with a grass median. It's a you know, big wide open highway. And uh, I was gonna go out onto that road, go about three miles, and then I was gonna take a right on a road that would loop back through some twisties <laughs> and come back into our house. And when we got on the bike, I just immediately, my, my immediately, I went, oh man, this headlight is just horrible. And so we got out on the highway and I missed my turn. You know, I missed it. I didn't see it. I, I, saw, I, I, I saw it when it was just right there. It was just too late for me to turn. It was just too late. And I said, well, you, you knew where that road was at. Well, I did, but it was dark. But I didn't see it. And uh, so I went on down the highway a little bit to make a U-turn at, at a crossover. And I made a U-turn. And the U-turn, honestly, it, by the time I finished with that U-turn, my heart was palpitating because I, I just, I couldn't see good enough. Uh, I just couldn't see. I, you know, okay, I'm 62 years old. Maybe my vision's not what it ought to be, but I need more light. And I did a video back a couple of years ago on the headlight on this uh, motorcycle. And I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video. I don't want to send you away yet, but at the end of this video, I'll put a link to that video so that you can go look at it. So when we came back and I made that U-turn uh, and, we, and we came back and we made the left onto our, our road, that, the little country road, two lane road that twists around and comes back around to the house. It's a curvy road. And uh, it, was, it was just horrible. It was horrible how, how poor that headlight was and how well I could see. And uh, so I thought, man, something's got to be done. So I, I, I got home and I thought, you know, there, there is a, uh, uh, you know, a real, ish, a, real, a real chance that I may sell this bike and adding a headlight to it is not going to increase its value. The value is the value of a motorcycle is the value of a motorcycle, no matter what you do to it. And uh, but I, I thought, well, what about a budget, a, a budget headlight? And I remember I had watched a video by Holy Shift. Sandy on Holy Shift had he he when his channel was smaller uh, and he was doing upgrades to his street glide. He was the budget upgrade guy. He he was kind of you know watching the dollar like I do, and he installed a headlight on his motorcycle that from Amazon that was $89, $89.99 or something like that. And I was thinking about that and, and Sandy has since sold that motorcycle, but I contacted him and I asked him, I said, uh, did, did, you, did you like that headlight all the way to the end? Did, did you ever become uh, dissatisfied with it? And I don't remember the exact wording of the conversation, but it was to that jest. And he said, no, I loved that headlight. It was awesome. It was bright. I could see. I loved that headlight. And he had no reason to tell me, uh, to, to fib to me. So I, I, I kind of took him at his word and I'm, I'm ordering that headlight. Now, I don't know when, today, tomorrow, next week, I'm going to order that headlight and I'm going to install it on this bike because I want to be able to go out on a ride at nighttime with my woman, two up with me, and I want to be safe. So I just thought I'd just drop in here and 
tell you that, tell you what I was thinking about. And so uh, I'm going to order that headlight. And when I want to order the headlight, I'm going to bring you along when, when I when I install it. And uh, we're going to see how it does. Okay. And so just a moment, I'm going to put a link to that other video up here. And I just want to remind you that Jesus said that the thief, the thief is Satan. The thief only comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he said, but I have come that they may have life, life through him, life through letting Jesus be the Lord of your life. I have come that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. And I want to encourage you today to choose Jesus, choose life. Okay, so here, here, I think it's gonna be here. Here's that link to that video. Hey, thank you for coming on with me and staying the whole time. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.